Hi, I'm Reggie, and we're going to do a series of tests on the Lockenbar water heater. Now, the Lockenbar is a curious beast. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, let me show you where I'm at now. Uh, what I did was I've taken the cover off of the water heater, and it's just a simple screw right there. And with that, uh, let's start the test. But how I start the test, if you take notice, uh, it says that the water heater itself is in standby. So in order to perform the test, we must put it in test mode. So what I did uh, was I have this little piece of wire here. It's a sturdy wire, it has to be sturdy. And what you do is you stick it in the hole up under the enter reset button. It's a little hole there. And what you do is you hold it and once you hold it for a while, it's going to pop and say service mode. Now we're in service mode. So what's going to happen is the temperature, my out temperature, is actually going to start elevating at least until 185. Before it does that, uh, we're going to do what's known as a high limit test. And this is my high limit gauge. So it's set at about 220. So what I'm gonna do is bring it down to at least under that 114. So watch, watch, you hit click. Watch, watch, there you go. See, we have a lockout. So that means that it stopped the water heater from going up. So that test, the high limit test works. So I'm going to push it back up to the 220 and go ahead and reset. Okay. So that's it for that test. That test passed because it actually shut the border down. It locked it out. Okay, so my next test is what I'm gonna run is my high gas test. So if you take a look in the inside, that's my gas switch. See the switch here? This is my gas switch. Okay, so I'm gonna turn that gas switch on. But once again, we have to set the locking bar water heater into service mode by sticking the instrument once again in the hole and holding it for a couple of seconds and you'll hear it pop on into service mode and it will show that it's in service mode, okay? Good. Hold up the button. Okay. It's a temperamental of things here, I tell you. I got to locate that button. You actually feel it push in. There you go. See, right in the service mode. Now let's wait for a second. Let's let the actual temperature, my out temperature, goes up, go up. Okay, it's at 110 now, okay? And my set temperature, my set point is at 185. And let's wait for it to go up. Wait, wait, it's gonna start going up. Okay, that's my fan. Let's step off. Let's let you look at the whole water heater itself. Okay, this is a standby side system. So I have two water heaters for this industrial building. Okay, look at it. So it's at 111, 112. Get a fan. And it's going up. 115. 
Okay, 16. Okay, let's go ahead now and I'm testing. High gas, so it should shut down. That's, that was my gas valve, my high gas valve, and I shut it off. So my locking bar heater should actually lock out on high gas. So it should lock out. Let's look at the indicator. Okay, I, I'm hearing it shut down. One moment, takes a while. Turn the indicator light on. So as you can see, these tests are time consuming. There you go, the lockout, plane failed ignition. That means that my gas has been shut down from the system itself. Okay, so let me go ahead and turn it back on. Turn, turn the gas valve back on. And what I'm gonna do is reset it. See, so I reset it, so it's going into post purge. And back in standby. Do another reset. There you go. See, we've reset. Now, that's a good thing. If you reset it and you hit it twice.